Fortnite paid 500 million for a scam. Oh, I didn't go through that headline. I saw they had to pay like half a billion for something though. What was it? What happened? Epic will pay half a billion dollars for Fortnite settlement over tricked purchases and privacy. Let's see, what is this story about? Now, hold on, I want to keep that video up. I forgot to watch it. They'll pay 520 mil in penalties and refund to settlement complaints revolving around children's privacy and its payment methods that tricked players into making unintended purchases. <laughs> oh no. That's big. All those creator codes. They confuse the little sprouts. I do vaguely remember there being a huge privacy concern with Fortnite, though, a while back. I don't remember the specifics on it, though. Ooh, thank you the 10 gift subs, Inhospitable Llama, in the resub, Derry, Ellie, Norse, Sydney, Bean, Hansa, Artie, Pelican, Colt, Baron, Wallopew, Speed, and Milanu. Well, thanks for the raid, Speed. Hope you had a great stream. Thanks for your subs, Sparlight, Flash, and Burial. I have no idea, Queasy. Thanks for your subs, Mincito. This is more on the parents being terrible than Epic's fault. Well, the privacy thing isn't the parents being terrible. That was an Epic problem, if I remember correctly. Let's read a bit further. Wow, this is apparently the biggest penalty ever imposed for breaking an FTC rule. A little bit of history. There you go, Fortnite. Breaking all kinds of records. Epic used privacy-invasive default settings and deceptive interfaces that tricked Fortnite users, including teenagers and children. What were the deceptive interfaces? It's like the most basic UI ever. <clears throat> oh, what the fuck? 245 million will go to customer refunds for players who fell victim to the so-called dark patterns and billing practices. Dark patterns are deceptive online techniques used to nudge users into doing things they didn't intend to do. In this case, Fortnite's counterintuitive, inconsistent, and confusing button configuration led players to incur unwanted charges based on the press of a single button. What? Wait, what? I I I never bought anything in Fortnite, so I don't I don't know. Could you actually just make a purchase with one button? Like there wasn't a confirmation where it's like, "Are you sure you want to make this purchase?" which is standard in legitimately everything ever. There was no confirmation. Oh, then that's big. Wait, that's a huge fuck up. Oh, okay, I see. You have to go through five menus before you can buy anything. Yeah, but the one button purchase is actually a big problem. That's like actually a big fuck up. There's a reason that that's standard practice. Can you explain? Well, yeah, man. It, like, it's common sense. Like, let's say I'm perusing the shop. I'm looking at a skin. I'm like, damn, this is a cool skin. Maybe I'll buy it. Eh, but then I don't want to. And I accidentally misclick and click the purchase button. And there's no confirmation screen where I need to confirm the purchase. I just instantly spend that money. And if I remember correctly, Fortnite doesn't even have refunds. So then you're just out that money. Like, you can, abso you can absolutely accidentally buy things if there's no confirmation. You can only get three refunds ever. That's better than I thought it was, to be honest. Thanks to tier one, Nexane, and the resub Toasty, Deasley, CJ, Mortem, Tyrod, Attic, Icarus, Swiggity, Belicious, Coolfire, Bean, Wiki, Biznu, Skaterpunk, Nico, Soul, and Boss Battle. 
in the pits again, JJ, in the tier one nippleless cage. They do have refunds, but it only got added in season seven. Oh. You get three a year. <laughs> I'm getting a whole lot of mixed information. Well, it's not really mixed. I guess those two can coexist. They introduced refunds in season, season seven, but you only get three a year. That's very wild. Hold on. Let me see what it looks like to purchase something in Fortnite. I'm not going to make a purchase myself. I'm going to see if anyone's done like a video on YouTube, like buying shit. I bought a $5 Fortnite account. Not exactly what I was looking for, but all right. Oh, here's a Tifu uh, video from back in the day. That's a big deal. Well, you do you. Gotta get some BS. Fine, maybe I shouldn't buy. Not. Oh, first. Yeah, there's. Yeah, it looks like there's no confirmation. Looks like it's just one click. I like this skin. I like the back bling. I like the girl. This is all around a good skin. I personally like the skin. Yeah, that I could absolutely yeah. see that being a big problem. Especially for little kids, their grubby little fingers. This is years old. Well, yeah, so is the lawsuit. They still shouldn't have ever hit the live game. Like a confirmation screen when making a purchase has just been commonplace since I was a kid. It doesn't matter if it's five years old, people would absolutely still have absolutely bought something by accident. He already bought the V-Bucks. Alright, let's see a V-Bucks purchase. Kid spends 500... This is going to be one of those fake rage things. Can I just see someone buy some V-Bucks? Do you like watching people... Back playing... Oh, this is just spending the V-Bucks. 10 minutes of kids accidentally buying skins. That you were going to rush him for V-Bucks right when you saw the shop. So much for having to hold down the button. This was on console and he still didn't have to hold down the button. That was one click. Wait, what? Wait, oh my god, no! That's old. It's a year old. Even still, again, it doesn't even matter how old it is. The, the lawsuit is also old and just now been resolved. It's still a problem that this was ever in the game. So yeah, I mean, I, I can absolutely see that. That's uh, that's a little sketchy. I want to see someone buy V Bucks though. Is that I can't imagine that would be different than at this point. So this is gonna be all people accidentally buying skins. Oh no! 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 Spending a million dollars in on V Bucks, twenty four hours. Oh, spending a million V Bucks in twenty four hours. The Fortnite. So got a if you guys want to receive a gift in a future video, I oh, know here's the hold down that they implemented. This is six days old, so their new thing is you have to hold it down, probably because of the FTC regulations they just got fucking slapped by. So I can dude, it's a per person. <laughs> Buy some V Bucks for me. I want to see that process. Oh, here we go. Thousand V bucks, and from my knowledge, I don't think anybody else in the world would spend this much money on V bucks. If you guys don't know, one million V bucks, just one million V bucks, like one zero 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 zero. That seems like a lot of V bucks. Zero zero, yeah, I think that's right. One million V bucks, if you buy like a hundred dollars worth, and you just try to be most efficient about it, is around seven thousand six. God damn it! Just make a purchase. Fuck. On V Bucks, if you guys don't know, one million V Bucks Fortnite account because we had to like restart. It wasn't very fun. I can't even buy more V Bucks today. I've already bought too many. But right now we have six hundred and seventeen thousand V Bucks. Okay, I'm going to assume it's pretty much the same. Thanks to Resub, Obama, Key Lime, Somebody, Dopamine, Andre, Praise, Turbo, Swizz, Erla, Kyle, Neoclips, Nathan, and Sagacious, and Austin. Look online, not YouTube. What do you mean look online, not YouTube? But the whole point is I want to see what it looks like to buy it.
Why are we watching this? Uh, he just got slapped with a half a billion dollars in fines for uh, how their store was set up. They're calling it Dark Patterns in Billing Practices. Players could, for example, be charged while trying to wake the game from sleep mode while the game was in a loading screen or by pressing a nearby button when trying to preview an item. These led to hundreds of millions of dollars in unauthorized charges for customers or consumers. Jesus Christ. One fourth billion. Nope. 520 million, my guy. But I appreciate you trying to correct me. Thanks to the resub Woho, Scarcore, and the Prime Envy in the resub rings. Mm. I haven't heard about their uh, their battle with Apple in a long time. Are they still on that crusade? Oh. Federal judge ruled largely in Apple's favor, partly because she embraced the iPhone maker's contention that its exclusive control of the App Store helped protect the security and privacy of consumers, but the ruling is under appeal. Oh, there's the little conclusion, I guess, a little update. I've spent 800 V-Bucks trying to press back and accidentally buying something. Yeah, it seems like that was very common. I just wonder if you could also make that mistake when buying the V-Bucks themselves, or if you still needed the V-Bucks in order to accidentally make the purchase. It seems like you could make that same mistake buying the V-Bucks if you had a card on file, since there's no confirmation screen for purchases, it seems. But I don't know for sure, because I've never done it. <clears throat> still needed the V-Bucks, can't accidentally buy the V-Bucks themselves. Okay, so then it's just for the skins. These are resub SKs, Nahambi, and Scream, and the Prime Waznu, and resub Biscuit, and Prime Tangent. And the resub HL2. So they only had confirmation when buying V-Bucks, not for skins. Bit of an oversight. Well, probably not an oversight. I could see why they wouldn't put a confirmation, because if you accidentally are spending your V-Bucks on things you don't want, you'll probably end up buying more V-Bucks to buy what you do want. So it's a pretty insidious money-making scheme. Thanks to the recent Mathman, Clank, Kinra, Jace, and Stanku. Oh, thanks for the 10 gift subs username is cringe. Appreciate it. Thank you for that. I'm sorry to hear that, Isaac. Hope tomorrow's better. Yeah, I did watch the Scuff World Tour. Yeah, AMSA was nuts. AMSA was absolutely nuts. Thanks for resub, Kobe. And the resub bunkers. And the resub res. Five twenty mils probably just taxes for the amount they made from accidental purchases. But I couldn't tell you. I mean Fortnite it's a money printing machine. This five twenty mil is a ton. But it's not going to be like crippling the game anytime soon. 